Hey guys, in today's video, I have a kind of paint your nails with me video. Let me zoom out a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit too close. I got request, a request for a, a manicure that I featured on my Instagram, and I think I featured it in my project polish video. It's this mani right here. And I had a vertical gradient on these two nails here. I've been intending to do that uh, this video for a little bit now, so I've been painting my nails the same way um, as what you, the colors that you're seeing here, with the intent of doing the gradient. And then I just haven't had a chance, so I've been wearing the same manicure. I just repainted them twice now, so I thought before I completely remove it, I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna do because I don't have time really to do a whole fresh manicure. I'm just going to re vamp it but this is what my nails looked like before this right here I put one coat of the polish that I was wearing I didn't remove the previous polish I just went over it with one coat to salvage it that's what I tend to do sometimes if I if I don't have time to paint my nails I just go over it with one or two coats of the existing polish and just freshen it up and put a, a top coat on it again because I just don't have the time to go through the entire process the polishes that we're gonna be using today are dress me up from China glaze carry blossom from OPI and live in the gray from OPI these three here usually I have a plate available to pour polishes out especially because you're especially for something like this or if you have less polish like this doesn't have a lot of polish in it anymore and this is a little mini so in order for me to work quickly I like to pour polish onto a plate but because I don't have that I've got these little lids here that we had for some uh, disposable coffee cups what I also use is a liquid latex. This is very helpful. If you don't have it, that's fine. You're just gonna have to do quite a bit of cleanup. But the latex does help in preventing as much of the cleanup that you're gonna require, especially when using a polish like this because this does tend to stain. So even using the latex, I get it in certain areas and I do have to spend a little extra time cleaning it up. So a latex would be helpful. This one's from Pueen and I got this one from Walmart. Obviously a top coat and then a base coat if you're starting fresh. You are gonna need a little sponge. I like the brand from Whispers or Swispers I think is the name this brand here i like this a lot because i feel like it absorbs the polish just right and some some um some sponges don't tend to do that you are going to need maybe some acetone to do a little cleanup as well if in case it gets in certain areas that you don't want it to and i just try to get the the latex as close as possible without getting it on the actual nail and because we're sponging i'm just going to put the latex pretty much around my nail here. There was another, I don't know if I mentioned, but there was another uh, manicure, it was a, 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 uh, a smush mani that someone asked to see as well. I will do that video, uh, just po possibly in the next week. Next week, actually, because I the next four days I'm gonna be working and I just, I've just been so short with time. So getting my polish onto my sponge here, I'm gonna pick up Cherry Blossom first. Live in the gray. And lastly, I'm going to pick up Dress Me Up. And all I'm gonna do is align it to my finger here. Let's see if we're in focus. And just start sponging and go up and down. This is gonna take a couple of layers, but let me show you guys here. It will take a couple of layers to build it up a little bit. All right, moving on to the next um, finger here. I went ahead and put more polish here and I'm just going to do the same thing, go up and down, side to side a little bit but up and down. I try to stop, once it starts feeling a little bit sticky, I try to stop because I don't want any of this sponge to stick onto my nail. That can happen. I'm gonna go back onto, I'm just gonna go in with Live in the Gray here because that's what I picked up right now. Oh no, what is that? It's a little fuss. And then Carrie Blossom. and then go in with Dress Me Up. 
usually I like putting the thickest polish on first and lastly the thinnest polish just because the thicker polish does take some time to absorb but I didn't do that this time around but I do recommend it so I'm just gonna start doing it again go up down and then side to side just a little bit and I try to make sure that all of the colors are visible do you see that Like that. That's why I like putting a lot of um, latex around because it gets everywhere. The polish gets everywhere. Depending on the polishes that you're using or how how much of the color concentration you want, that's really up to you. You can do this a couple times. Because it's sponging, it's not going to take a long time for it to dry. So I don't know if you guys can see there how it goes from the berry tone, the gray, and then the nude there. To save on a little bit of time, I went ahead and removed the latex off camera, and we're ready now to put our top coat. And when I put the top coat on, I feel it is when the magic happens. Everything kind of fuses together. It, it brings the gradient to life, in my opinion. So all I'm going to do is just put this over top, because it brings out all the colors. Right now, it just looks like mush, you know, but once you put the gradient, it brings all the colors alive, and you can see the distinction between the berry, the gray, and, and the nude polish. Let me clean up a little bit more over here. I'm very messy today, but that's okay. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. this area here all right so let me show you guys here is a close-up of the manicure in person I can see let's see if maybe this light will help that's better you can see more of the berry here then the gray and then the nude you see that see more there all right I think that's everything guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch I hope this video was helpful for those of you that were interested in this manicure I think it's really pretty I feel like I, I put more gray on this manicure than the previous manicure that I had but you know you guys I hope you guys still get the idea of of how to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next one.